based on the books you've been meaning to read. They got spun off into games you've been meaning to finish. Comes a series that's meant to be the next Game of Thrones. But ended up more like the next Xena Warrior Princess. I ain't mad at it. The Witcher. Get ready for the most watched Netflix show ever because they changed how they count the views as you enter a sprawling fantasy world that seems pretty complicated on the surface but boils down to a vaguely polished Tolkien with swears. What a f***ing s***! Did your mother f*** a snowman? <laughs> when there's something strange in your bog or woods, who you gonna call? A witcher. You don't scare me. That's too bad. Highly trained mutant killing machines who every moron in the land wants to pick a fight with for some reason. You mutant son of a bitch. <laughs> Did not know you were a witcher. I've always wanted to play with one. <laughs> Ride along with the titular witcher, Geralt, as Henry Cavill mean mugs his way through the continent, searching for the minimum number of syllables required to carry a series. <laughs> You must have some review for me. Three words or less. His destiny will be tied to Siri, a baby Yoda with the power of Screamo. Jennifer, a girl who left the Hogwarts to Deep State Mage Pipeline to go live by her own rules, selling boner weed. <sighs> and tagging along is the foppish bard character, who everyone hates. My name is Julian Alfred Pankhurst. Hi. Damn it, yes, yeah. Oh, please, not the loop! <laughs> <laughs> With a song or two that everyone begrudgingly admits is actually pretty good. Toss a coin to your witcher. Huh. I guess even fantasy realms have to deal with their own version of John Mayer. Oh, valley of penis, oh god. That sucks. Watch the action, drama, and complete lack of comedy unfold across a typical episode where Geralt comes across a problem he doesn't want to get involved in. I want you to join my team. No. Then totally gets involved in it. I'm in. While Siri runs through some woods boringly, Yennefer's dress comes off. Then we switch timelines, only you don't realize it since half the characters don't age, so just enjoy an awesome sword fight. <laughs> Some, uh, cool magic sometimes, I guess. Out come Yennefer's boobs again. And at the end of the day, it turns out man was the real monster all along. It's a formula I can totally get behind. Oh, the next one's already started. So if you ever wanted a show to put images in your head, they would match the phrase porcupine wedding, sexy hunchback, or magical hysterectomy. Ah! Then you are super weird like us, and we finally have a show to enjoy together. Because if Peak TV was all about 12-hour movies you have to binge all at once to appreciate, then I welcome the return of shows that can say, Tonight on Witcher, meet a bog monster who's also a beautiful lady. Coming up after an all-new Buffy, only on UPN. Starring Silent but Deadly The Hunchback of Notre Dame Hey Siri my pal, let's bring all the coins to the bard. Blood Sugar X Magic. Bass. Beheadings. <laughs> Barf. <laughs> Beams. Midsummer. Whisper voices. <laughs> What are you, child? Talking about coin. How much coin for your kiki more then? You seem to find coin pretty charming yourself. I have enough coin to rebuild our house. Ten percent of all your coin. You fled with that coin. My coin. My coin. Coin. Talking about destiny. You don't believe in destiny. I have to find my destiny. It's your destiny. He is your destiny. She's your destiny. 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 Destiny can go. And that song you finally got out of your head. Toss a coin to your witcher, a friend of humanity. And it's back. The Hair Witch Project. 
Okay, you just buried a baby at low tide, barely an inch into the sand. You might as well just chug him into the ocean if you're not going to put some elbow grease into it. Return from whence you came.